Hi, happy Wednesday po. Welcome to our fourth midweek mini-series about Joseph the Dreamer. So first part po, we talk about his dreams, no? As a 17-year-old young, uh, 17 year old kid, uh, he was supervising his uh, brothers and then uh, he was... Uh, there was this dream that someday they will bow down to him. No? So afternoon, you envy the brothers. Niya. So they tried to uh, nasaktan siya, tapo siya sa balon, slavery, binenta siya. And then, napunta siya kay Potiphar. And then, nagkaporsonada sa kanya yung, yung wife ni Potiphar. And then, napagbintangan siya ng rape. And then, nakulong siya. At nung nakulong siya, eh, meron siyang ininterpret na naman mga dreams, no? yung baker at saka yung uh, butler. And then, nagstay siya sa kulungan. Sa part 2, si Joseph naman, sa from kulungan, pinatawag ni ni Pharaoh, ininterpret niya yung dreams si Pharaoh, and then eventually, uh, he was uh, appointed as the governor of Egypt. So, number 2 guy siya sa Egypt. So, from prison, napunta siyang palas. Okay. So, part 3 tonight, pag-usapan natin, Joseph, no, the Prince of Grace. So, nagkaroon na, nag-hit na yung famine, and then, umabot na sa Canaan, kung nasa yung pamilya niya, and then, uh, dito pinakita niya yung, yung grace, matinding grace, at saka talaga, ano ibig sabihin ng brothers keepers, no. Next week, we will uh, close it out with a, uh, Part 4, Joseph Anointing. Ano yung tapat natin hingin sa Lord? in Joseph Anointing. And then, uh, we will uh, deeply look yung kanyang pagiging uh, forgiving, blessed ruler. So, let's start with the part 3. Excited na ako. At uh, one time, eh, umatiyan ako ng isang uh, chapel service sa isang university sa San Diego. It's a Christian university uh, that is uh, being owned by the denomination that where I am pastoring. It's called Point Loma Nazarene University. So, dumating ako ng chapel service land. Uh, excited ako kasi kumbaga uh, mag magkaroon ako ng glimpse ko ano yung chapel service sa isang university kasi naalala ko na I used to conduct chapel service as the uh, school pastor of a Christian school sa Philippines. Pero, sabi ko, iba to, ibang, ibang experience to. Then, nung umakit yung preacher dun sa pulpit, he read the entire chapter. And then, that's it. Yun ay yung, yun ay yung preaching, you know. And then, uh, I never realized that that is one of the most beautiful sermon I ever heard. No commentary. He just... Yeah, I just read the entire chapter and, uh, and then allow the people to absorb any word of God. So for tonight, uh, somehow, ganun tayo, no? We will focus more on the story. Pero syempre, dadagdigan natin na ano yung dapat natin matutunan doon sa story ni Joseph. Pero ang gusto natin mangyari ngayon is for those who are listening, for those who are watching, I want you to uh, look closer to the story ni Joseph at ano yung dapat mong matutunan. Kasi tinawag siya na Prince of Grace. No? Ano, ano ba muna yung grace? Di ba? Pag-usapan natin, what is grace? Di ba? Kumbaga, ano yung tinatawag na grace of God? Na-explain ko na to no, sa, sa time nung nag-preach ako about kay Joe na grace is about God's riches no? at Christ's expense. Kumbaga, hindi ikaw ang nagbayad. Kasi grace is unmerited favor. Kumbaga, uh, grace is something we all desperately need but don't deserve it. So dito, pinakita to ni and exemplify to ni Joseph. Now, since part 1, part 2, uh, inaano na natin si Joseph, eh, kinocompare na natin sa, siya kay Jesus. Eh. Kumbaga, ang dami nilang similarities. Isa sa mga napagandang similarity nila yung grace na pinakita ni Joseph. Grace is mentioned 125 times in English translation in New Testament. Luke 10, the Good Samaritan. Luke 15, the Prodigal Son. John 8, 
woman caught in uh, adultery, Zacchaeus, woman at the well, everything all about the grace of God. Yung mga stories na yun. Pero Jesus dying on the cross, that's the most beautiful grace. Alam nyo, may awitin nga na napakasarap, napakasarap pakinggan, no? Yung amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Uh, meron, pang, meron pang part, sabi, my chains, are, my chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns. An ending love, amazing grace. Beautiful, no? So, punta tayo dun sa story, bakit, paano niya ginamit yung grace sa mga kapatid niya? Bakit siya tinawag na Prince of Grace? So, Genesis chapter 42, uh, this about Joseph's brothers go to Egypt. Kasi nga, nagkaroon na ng famine. So, panorin natin, uh, panorin natin, pakinggan natin mabuti. Okay, let's start. When Jacob learned there was grain in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you just keep looking at each other? He continued, I have heard that there is grain in Egypt. Go there and buy some for us so that we may live and not die. One thing na nakita, ka agad, nakita ko kaagad dito, no? sa, opening verse, sa opening verses pa lang ng chapter na to, in-establish agad eh, that there is salvation in Egypt I remember when Jesus was still a, uh, a, a baby, you know, a kid, dinala siya ni Joseph and Mary you know, para takasan si Herod, si, si Herod you know, dahil pinapapatay lahat ng two and under na baby. Pumunta sila na Egypt. So there's salvation in Egypt. Si Joseph napunta siya doon because of slavery, pero ang Lord, no, all things work together for good for those who love Him and called according to His purpose. So si Lord, Kinonvert niya yung place from a, a place of slavery, ginawa niya a place of salvation. I know it's not about the place. It's not about where you are right now. Probably you're in the Philippines or in the U.S., Middle East, Europe, South America. I don't know. Pero isa lang ang alam ko. Wherever you are, kapatid, there is salvation kung nasaan ka. Kasi bakit? The Spirit of God is in Egypt. No? Kasi the Spirit of God is with Joseph. Hindi ang Spirit of God nasa Egypt because he loves Egypt, he favors Egypt. No, because Joseph is in Egypt. So damay ang Egypt sa favor, sa anointing ni Joseph. Kung nasaan ka man, damay ang lugar na because God, Jesus, is right there. And He will give you favor. Sabi nga ng Bibliya, for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Balikin natin yung kwento. Then, ten of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain from Egypt. But Jacob did not send Benjamin, Joseph's brother, with the others because he was afraid that harm might come to him. So Israel's sons were among those who went to buy grain, for there was famine in the land. Of Canaan also because Benjamin uh, was a uh, full-blooded brother ni Joseph. Anak ni Rachel yan. Favored son. Another favored son ni Israel. Now Joseph was a governor of the land. The person who sold grain to all its people. So when Joseph's brothers arrived, they bowed down to him. Ito na yung gagana pa ng kanyang dreams. First time ever, no? Bowed down to him with their faces to the ground, no? As soon as Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them, but he pretended to be a stranger and spoke harshly to them. Where do you come from? He asked. From the land of Canaan, they replied. To buy food, sir. Wow. Imagine what, no? Every knee will bow, sabi ni Joseph. Nagkatuto. And a prophetic vision, a prophetic uh, 
something that will happen in the future. Someday, every knee will bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. That will happen for sure. Uh, Jesus is Lord all over to everyone. So that prophecy will be someday be fulfilled. Although Joseph recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. And he remembered his dreams about, uh, about them and said to them, You are spies. You have come to see where our land is unprotected. No, my Lord, they answered. The servants have come to buy food. We are all the sons of one man. Israel, your servants are honest men, not spies. I don't know. I'm sure they're not spies, but I'm not sure if they're honest men. Remember, binenta nila yung kapatid nila, nagsinungaling sila sa tatay nila, napatay na si Joseph. Here's the thing. This is a scenario of a test of faith. Okay? Okay, what is faith? No? Faith is not believing that God can. It is knowing that He will. So this is a test of faith for, for all His brothers. All of his brothers. Now, this is not something like karma. Okay? Let me clarify this. Us Christians who believe in God, uh, those who are so-called Bible-believing Christians, we don't believe in karma. <laughs> karma is something like, okay, uh, since gantong ginawa mo, ganyan din ang babalik sa'yo, well, somehow, partly, we believe in the thing, but not exactly how karma was defined in Hinduism. Okay, ba yun? Sa Christianity, ang version natin is the um, golden rule. Yung baga, do not do to others, no? Parang ganun. Kung anong ayaw mong gawin sa'yo. Yung baga, kung anong tinanim mo, yun ang aanihin mo. That's our biblical so called karma no but this time this is not karma na gaganti si joseph no this is something a test of faith gusto niya malaman kung busilak na ba yung puso ng mga kapatid niya alamin natin mga sumunod na nangyari now sabi niya no he said to them you have come to see where our land is unprotected hindi 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 pumunta kayo dito para mag-spy kayo para makita niyo kung saan Pwede niyong pasukin, unprotected yung aming land. But they replied, your servants were 12 brothers. Now they're being honest. The son of one man. Now they're being honest. Who lives in the land of Canaan. Now they're being honest. The youngest is now with our father and one is no more. Now they are being honest but somehow do sa last part, one is no more. Yes, Joseph is not with them anymore, but he's a patay, right? Joseph said to them, it is just as I told you, you are spies. And this is how you will be tested. As surely as Pharaoh lives, you will not leave this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Hmm. Patay na. Naloko na. Yung kinahingat-ingatan nila, yung pa yung kurso natin eh. Ni, ni governor. Paano nila sasabihin sa tatay nila to? Send one of your number to get your brother. The rest of you will be kept in prison so that your words may be tested. So if you are telling the truth, if you are not, then as surely as Pharaoh lives, you are spies. And he put them all in custody for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, Do this and you will live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers stay here in prison. So, medyo nag-downgrade siya ng kanyang demand. While the rest of you go and take grain back for your starving households. Ooh, kindness, umaabaw, no? But you must bring your youngest brother to me. 
so that your words may be verified and that you may not die. These they proceeded to do. No? So, tinetest niya yung faith, tinetest niya yung loyalty, tinetest niya yung integrity ng mga kapatid niya. They said to one another, Surely we are being punished because of our brother. We saw how distressed he was when he pleaded with us for his life. But he would not listen. That's why, uh, but we would not listen. That's why this distress has come on us. Naku, tayo ay pinaparusahan na sa ginawa natin kay Joseph. Nag-usap-usap sila, hindi nila alam, naiintindihan sila ni Joseph. Kasi gumbaga si Joseph na interpret, ng interpreter eh. Kumbaga, uh, 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 kumbaga uh, ang usapan nila Hebrew. Ang usap sa kanila ni Joseph, Egyptian or Arabic. Reuben replied, sabi ni Reuben, yung panganay, did I tell you not to sin against the boy? Sabi ko sa inyo, huwag niyo sasaktan, huwag niyo gagalawin. But you wouldn't listen. Now we must give an accounting for his blood. So this is not the karma. Okay, this is the simple pros and cons. This is the simple, what you saw is what you read. They did not realize that Joseph could understand them since he was using an interpreter. He turned away from them and began to weep. Oh, bigat, sakit sa. Ang sakit sa naramdaman sa puso ni Joseph and papakinggan niya lahat ng to. But then he came back and spoke to them. Again, he had Simeon taken from them and bound before their eyes. So isa na lang kinuha niya si Simeon para maiwan. Joseph gave orders to fill their bags with grain to put each man's silver in his sack and to give them provisions for their journey. After this was done for them, they loaded their grain on their donkeys and left. So pinovida niya pa rin. No? Pero pinabalik pa rin niya yung mga silver nila sa kanila mga sako. At the place where they stopped for the night, one of them opened his sack to get feed for his donkey. And he, and he saw his silver in the mouth of his sack. My silver has been returned, he said to his brothers. Here it is in my sack. Patay. Their hearts sunk and they turned to each other trembling and said, what is this that God has done for us or to us? When they came to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to them. They said, the man who is Lord over the land spoke harshly to us and treated us as though we were spying on the land. But we said to him, we are honest men. We are not spies. We were 12 sons, sons of one father. One is no more and the youngest is now with our father in Canaan. And they explained nila sa tatay nila. And the man who is Lord over the land said to us, tap na si Joseph, yung governor, no? He's, hindi pala Joseph pangalan niya doon. I forgot. Paneya, something. You know. This is how I will know whether you are honest men. Sabi ni Joseph, leave one of your brothers here with me and take food for your starving households and go for the, for, but bring your youngest brother to me so I will know that you are not spies but honest men. And I will give your brother back to you, and you can trade in the land. As they were emptying their sacks, there is in each man's sack was his pouch of silver. When they had, and when they and their father saw the money pouches, they were frightened. Their father Jacob said to them, You have deprived me of my children. Joseph is no more and Simeon is no more and now you want to take Benjamin everything is against me baka naaalala pa siguro ni, ni Israel yung ginawa niya doon sa kapatid niya kay Iso di ba? then Reuben said to his father you may put both of my sons to death if, he, I, if, I, if I do not bring him back to you and trust him to my care and I will bring him back no, patayin niyo yung dalawang anak patay kung hindi ko babalik si Benjamin sa'yo. But Jacob said, My son will not go down there with you. His brother is dead and he's the only one left. Kasi nga, anak niya Rachel yun. If harm comes to him, if harm comes to him on the journey you are taking, you will bring my gray head down to the grave in sorrow. Genesis 43, the second journey to Egypt. Wala rin, pilitan din sila. 
Bakit? Pag kumalamang si Kimura, kakapit ka sa patalim, kailangan mong bumalik doon. Alam ni Joseph yun. Okay? Now, the famine was still severe in the land. So when they had eaten all the grain they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, si Jacob na mismo nagsabi. Kasi wala na makain eh. Go back and buy us a little more food. But Judah said to him, The man warned us solemnly, You will not see my face again unless your brother is with you. If you will send our brother along with us, we will go down and buy food for you. Padala mo sa amin si Benjamin, tatay. But if you will not send him, we will not go down. Because the man said to us, You will not see my face again unless your brother is with you. This is because of integrity to eh. Israel asked, Why did you bring this trouble on me by telling the man you had another brother? But you, but you, but you, but you, but you, but And they replied, the man questioned us closely about ourselves and our family. Is your father, uh, is your father still living? Uh, do you have another brother? We, we simply answered in his questions. Sinagot lang namin yung tanong niya. How are we to know he would say, bring your brother down here? Mali ba namin? Asabi niya, nadalin si Benjamin. Then Judah said to Israel, his father, si Judah, okay, dyan yung lineage sa David eh. Send the boy along with me. Remember, sinabi na ni Ruben kanina. Si Ruben, nagpapakita na selflessness. This time, it's Judah's turn. Now, send the boy along with me and we will go at once. So, that we and you and our children may live and not die. Sa gutom, no? I myself will guarantee his safety. You can hold me personally responsible for him. If I do not bring him back to you and set him here before you, I will bear the blame before you all my life. As it is, if he had not delayed, he could have gone and returned twice. Then their father Israel said to them, If it must be, then do this. Put some, um, uh, put some of the best products of the land in your bags and take them down to the man as gift. A little balm, a little honey, some spices and mirrors, some pistachio nuts and almonds. Okay, ganito ang gawin natin. Tagdagan niya regalo. No? I-bribe natin. Sabi niya, ito pa, take double the amount of silver with you. No, ibalik niyo yung silver, tapos doblehin niyo pa. For you must turn the silver that was put back into the mounds of your sacks. Perhaps it was a mistake. Take your brother also and go back to the man at once. And may God Almighty grant you mercy before the man so that he will let your other brother, Simeon, and Benjamin come back with you. As for me, I am be- if I am bereaved, I am bereaved. Okay. Ako sabi niya, super stress, super lungkot. Ako ay naglulok sana sa nangyayari na to. Ano solusyon ni Israel? Suhulan natin. We need the favor of that guy, the governor of Egypt. So the men took the gifts and doubled the amount of silver. And Benjamin also. They hurried down to Egypt and presented themselves to Joseph. When Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the steward of his house, Take this man to my house. Slaughter an animal. Katay ka. No? Nangayop and prepare a meal. They are to eat with me at noon. Magbabudil fight kami sa lunchtime. The man did as Joseph told him and took the men to Joseph's house. No special guest. Now the men were frightened. Takot na takot yung mga kapatid niya. No, they were taken to his house. Eh. Kasi they thought, no, we, no, we were brought here because of the silver that was put back into our sacks the first time. He wants to attack us and overpower us and seize us as slaves and take our donkeys. Na praning na yung mga kapatid niya. So they went up to Joseph's steward and spoke to him at the entrance to the house. We beg your pardon, our Lord. We came down here the first time to buy food. But at the place where we were 
where we stopped for the night, we opened our socks, and each of us found his silver the exact weight in the amount of his sock. Ito na, nagiging honest na. Remember, test of faith to. No, nagiging honest na yung mga, ano, yung mga kapatid niya. Hindi nagsisinungaling. Kung ano yung nag-transpire, talagang sinasabi nila. So we have brought it back with us. Dinala namin to. Dinoble pa nga namin eh. We have also brought additional silver with us to buy food. We don't know who put our silver in our socks. Hindi namin alam kung sino naglagay nun. Kasabi ni Joseph. It's alright. Don't be afraid. Your God the God of your father has given you treasure in your socks. I received your silver. Then he brought Simeon out to them. Oh, it's okay, sabi niya. Yung Diyos niyo, napakabuti, pin pinigyan kayo ng mga silver. Kasi yung silver na binigay sa akin, nasa akin, na-receive ko, sabi ni Joseph. Tapos nilabas niya sa Simeon. The steward took the men into Joseph's house, gave them water to wash their feet, and provided father for their donkeys. They prepared their gifts for Joseph's arrival, for Joseph's arrival at noon, because they had heard that they were to eat there. Kindness. Kindness over kindness over kindness over kindness. Wala nang pinakita si Joseph kundi kindness sa mga kapatid niya. You see, kindness is contagious. We need to pass it on. Lalo na sa mga panahon ngayon. People needs to see kindness. Lalong lalo na sa ating mga krisano. We need to be salt and light sa mundo na to. When Joseph came home, they presented to him the gifts they had brought into the house and they, ito na naman, they bowed down. Here's the prophecy again. They bowed down before him to the ground. He asked them how they were and then he said, uh, how is your Aged father, you told me about. Is he still living? Again, he's trying to check on his brothers kung nagsisinungaling ba? Kung may integridad na ba? Kung mapagkakatiwalaan na ba? They replied, Your servant, our father is still alive and well. Your servant, sabi nila, your servant. Well, we all know that servants all bow to the master, right? So, dito pa lang. Prophecy. No? Fulfilled again. Kasi, even si Israel, o kung baga yung estado niya doon, kahit na siya yung leader ng mga Hebrews, bow down pa rin sa governor ng Egypt. Kasi hindi sila kakain kung hindi sila magbabow down. Ito na naman. And they bow down, prostrating themselves before him. Yung prostrating po, ibig sabihin, hindi ka lang nagbow na parang Japanese pa. Ito yung nagpapatira pa ka. Super in humility. As he looked about and saw his brother Benjamin, his own mother's son, he asked, Is this your youngest brother? The one you told me about? So remember, he's talking sa, sa native tongue ng Egyptians, which is probably Arabic. And meron siyang interpreter na Hebrew. Kasi akala nila hindi sila nagsasalita. No? Akala niya hindi, sila, hindi siya marunong mag -ibro. And he said, God, no, God be gracious to you, my son. Kinakausap niya si Benjamin. Deeply moved at the sight of his brother, Joseph hurried out and looked for a place to weep. He went into his private room and wept there. Dito yung, habang binabasa ko siya dati, na first time with the sign, umiiyak din ako kasi nakapag-identify ako kay Joseph. No? In kanyang heart, super ganda. After he had washed his face, he came out and controlling himself said, Oh, pakaini na yung mga yan. Serve the food. They served him by himself, the brothers by themselves, and the Egyptians who ate with him by themselves because Egyptians could not eat with Hebrews for that is detestable to Egyptians. No, may racism eh. The men had been seated before him in the order of their ages, from the firstborn to the youngest, and they looked at each other in astonishment. When portions were served to them from Joseph's table, Benjamin's portion was five times 
as much as anyone else says, eh, alam nyo na, alam na this kung bakit. Full, full blooded brother. So they feasted and drank freely with him. So, kasiyahan. Genesis 44, eto na. Tragedy na naman to. A silver cup in a sack. Now Joseph gave these instructions to the steward of his house. Fill the men's sacks with as much as food as they can carry. Uh, and put each man's silver in the mouth of his sack. Then put my cup, the silver one, in the mouth of the youngest one sack. Along with the silver of his grain. And he did as Joseph said. Siyempre, governator. As morning dawned, the men were sent on their way with their donkeys. They had not gone far from the city when Joseph said to his steward, Habulin you, go after those men at once. And when you catch with them, say to them, Why have you repaid good with evil? Isn't this the cup of my master drinks from the, and also uses for divination? This is a wicked thing you have done. When he caught up, when he caught up with them, he repeated these words to them. But they said to him, "Why does my lord such say such things? Far be it from your servants to do anything like that." Bakit niya sinasabi niyo? Hindi namin kaya ng gawin yun. Napakabait niya sa amin. We even brought back to you from the land of Canaan the silver we found inside the mouths of our sacks. So why would we steal silver or gold from your master's house? If any of your servants is found to have it, he will die. Kung meron kumuha sa amin doon, patayin nyo. And the rest of us will become my Lord's slaves. Kasi ganun sila ka-confident. Alam nila, hindi naman sila nagnakaw. Very well then, he said, let it be as you say. Sige, sabi nyo eh. Whoever is found, hindi, sa, hindi galing kay Joseph to, hindi to galing sa mga tao ni Joseph, galing to sa bibig ng magkakapatid. Kasi confident nga sila eh. Sabi nyo ah, whoever is found to have it will become my slave. The rest of you will be free from blame. So, it's, sa, ina na pa nga, di na ang grade pa nga eh. Kasi sabi nila, patayin nyo, sabi nila, ano eh, uh, if any of our servants is found to have it, he will die. Sabi nila, patayin nyo, yung kumuha, tapos kami lahat slaves. Sabi nung servant ni Joseph, okay, no, no, no. Sa inyo galing yan? Okay, sige, ganito na lang. Yung kumuha, gagawin ko slave. Kasi hindi naman pwede patayin ni Joseph, yung kapatid niya. And then the rest of you, pwede na umuwi. Each of them quickly lowered his sack to the ground and open it with confidence and pray. Wala ito. And the steward proceeded to search, beginning with the oldest and ending with the youngest. The cup was found in Benjamin's sack. Of course, di na ni Joseph. No? At this, they tore their clothes. Then they all loaded their donkeys and returned to the city. Joseph was still in the house when Judah and his brothers came in and they threw themselves to the ground before him. Pang ilang beses sa tungin mo ko? Pangatlo? Pangapat? I don't know. Joseph said to them, What is this you have done? Don't you know that the man like me can find things out by divination? Hindi niyo ba alam na meron kami special magic dito sa, sa Egypt na malalaman namin yung pinagagawa niya. What can we say to you? Uh, what can we say to my Lord? Judah replied. What can we say? Ano ito ang masasabi namin sa iyo, boss? How can we prove our innocence? God has uncovered your servant's guilt. We are now my Lord's slaves. We ourselves and the one who was found to have the cup. No? Medyo inaayos ni Jude. No? Kasi ang deal nila, ang yabang nila. Sabi nila, kung sino yung kumuha, nahuli nyo, patayin nyo. Tapos kaming lahat, slaves nyo. Sabi ng tao ni Joseph, hindi, ganito na lang. Yung kumuha, gagawin kong slave. The rest of you, pwede nang, pwede nang umuwi. Pero dito, sabi ni Judah, no, para hindi mapatay, para hindi mapatay si Benjamin, slaves sa po kami lahat, including yung kumuha. Bakit? Kasi hindi sila makakabalik sa tatay nila na wala si Benjamin. But Joseph said, Far it be 
Far be it from me to do such a thing. Now only the man who was found to have the cup will become my slave. No, hindi naman ako ganon. Yung posible lang ko buha, yun lang gagawin yung slave. The rest of you, go back to your father in peace. Then Judah went up to him and said, Pardon your servant, my lord. Let me speak a word to my lord. Do not be angry with your servant, though you are equal to Pharaoh himself. Wow. These are the people who tried to kill him. But look how they, they say things to him. Look at the reverence. Look at the respect. Diba? Siguro may patira-patira pa pa yung pabawdaw-bawda. Everything, all the prophecy, the dreams of Joseph nangyayari being unfolded sa mga mata natin ngayon. Sabi niya, My Lord, no, sabi niya, ano ba <laughs> My Lord asked his servants, no, do you have a father or brother? No, sabi niya, uh, My Lord, tatanungin kita, meron ka bang kapatid o, ma- o tatay? No, and we answered, Ah, sa- ah, sorry, sorry. Sabi niya, ah, kayo po, ah, governor, tinanong niyo kami kung meron kaming tatay o kapatid. No? At sumagot kami, sabi niya, we have an aged father and there is a young son born to him in his old age. His brother is dead and he's the only one of his mother's sons left and his father loves him. So nagsabi po kami ng totoo. Then you said to your servants, bring him down to me so I can see for myself, see him for myself. And we said to my Lord, the boy cannot leave his father. If he leaves him, his father will die. But you told your servants, unless your youngest brother comes down with you, you will not see my face again. When we went back to your servant, my father, we told him what my Lord had said. Then our father said, go, go back and buy a little more food. We cannot go down, sabi namin. Only if your youngest brother is with us. Only if our youngest brother is with us, si Benjamin yun. Kasi hindi na namin makikita yung governor yun pag hindi namin ibinalik si Benjamin. Your servant, my father, said to us, sabi niya kay Joseph, no? yung tatay po namin sabi sa amin, you know that my wife bore me two sons. Kasi yun talaga yung wife niya, si Rachel. He has surely been torn to pieces. Now, one of them went away from me and I said, He has surely been torn to pieces. And I have not seen him since. If you take this one from me too and harm comes to him, you will bring my gray head down to the grave and miss him. Inuulit lang nila yung pangyayari. We're just being honest. So now, if the boy is not with us, when I go back to your servant, my father, and if my father, whose life is closely bound up with the boy's life, sees that the boy is in there, he will die. Your servants will bring the gray head of our father down to the grave in sorrow. Mamamatay po yung tatay namin, boss. Hindi niyo papakawalan yung kapatid namin. Ito, maganda. Your servant guaranteed the boy's safety to my father. No, ako po, ginaranti ko po yung sa tatay ko. If I do not bring him back to you, I will bear the blame before you, my father, all my life. Now then, please let your servant remain here as the, my Lord's slave in place of the boy. Ako na lang po. Sabi ni Judah, ako na lang po. Pakawalan niyo na yung mga kapatid ko. Alam mo, ito yung, ito yung, ano, ito yung, ito yung, gusto mapatunayan ni Joseph. Ito yung test of faith. Kasi dati binenta niyo ako eh. Ngayon, gusto ko makita kung willing kayong ibenta rin tong isa niyong kapatid. Pero hindi. Iba na yung nakita ni Joseph. Nakita siya ng change of heart sa mga kapatid niya. Si Judah to. Ha? How can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? No, no, do not let me see the misery that would come on my father. Now, Genesis 45. Joseph makes himself known. This is one of the climax of the story. Then Joseph could no longer, no longer control himself before all his attendants. And he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence, sabi niya. Malis kayo dito lahat, yung mga Egyptians, no? yung mga servants niya. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him. And Pharaoh's household heard about it. Sobrang iyak niya. Sobrang sakit kasi. 
Joseph said to his brothers, ah, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were terrified at his, at his presence. So sabi niya, ako si Joseph, boy mo ba si tatay? Takot na takot si mga kapatid niya sumagot. And Joseph said to his brothers, come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. So, may, 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 may purpose and Lord, but niya ako pinadala dito. Sabi niya, come close to me. I remember Jesus. During the time na, na mga times sa nagkamali tayo, na na-realize natin yung mga maling ginawa natin. Kung no, baga, isang bagay na maririn mo kay Jesus eh. Come close to me. I am here for you. Joseph is their salvation. For us, it's Jesus. Jesus is our salvation. As sabi sa atin, come close to me. No, lumapit ka sa akin. Mga kapatid niya, hindi alam ang gagawin, natatakot kung lalapit o ano. For two years now, sabi niya, there has been famine in the land and for the next five years, there will be no plowing and reaping. Okay, sabi ni Joseph, and I explain niya yung mangyayari. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Same thing with Jesus, di ba? Kasi, kasi si Jesus pinadala sa atin, no? Kumbaga, for us, na hindi tayo mapahamak. Para sa gipin tayo. Same thing kay Joseph para sa Israel. Bansa ng Israel. 17 years old siya nung binenta siya ng mga kapatid niya. 39 na siya nung pinatawad niya yung mga kapatid niya. 39 years old. So then, it was not you who sent me here, but God, He made me father to Pharaoh, lord of his entire household and ruler of all Egypt. Now hurry back to my father and say to him, this is what your son Joseph says, God has made me lord of all Egypt. Come down to me. Don't delay. Wow. Pinasusundo na. No, kumbaga, ano, uh, pinakita na naman ni Joseph dito yung, grabe yung kindness niya. You shall live in the region of Goshen and be near me. You and your children and your grandchildren, your flocks and herds and all you have, I will provide for you there because five years of famine are still to come. Otherwise, you and your household and all who belong to you will become destitute. Ito na, mag-release na ng blessings. See, ang sabi ni Joseph, come to me. Nung lumapit yung mga brothers, nag-release ng blessings si Joseph. Same thing with Jesus. Sabi niya sa'yo, come to me. Patawarin kita. Forgive me. I, I will forgive you. And then, accept me as your first personal learning savior. Kasunod nun, blessings will overtake you. I tell you the truth. I experienced that. A lot of people experience that. Maniwala ka. Huwag ka maniwala sa Maniwala ka sa Biblia. Sigurado. Accept Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior. Blessings will overtake you. It will not follow you. It will not be given to you. You will not just receive it, but it will overtake you. Sabi niya dito, you can see for yourselves and so can my brother Benjamin. That is really I who am speaking to you. So dito nag na siguro siya. No? Tell my father about all the honor accorded uh, accorded me in uh, Egypt and about everything you have seen. No? Kwento niyo lahat kita tayo, lahat nakita niyo. Kung sino ako dito, kung ano yung mga nakita niyo. And bring back my father down here quickly. Then he threw his arms around his brother Benjamin and wept. And Benjamin embraced him, weeping, and he kissed all his brothers and wept over them. Kissing all his brothers, it means of showing forgiveness na. No, do sa mga kapatid niya. Kumbaga, it's forgive and forget. Afterward, his brothers talked to him. When the news reached Pharaoh's palace that Joseph's bro brothers had come, Pharaoh and all his officials, well, officials were pleased. Ito pa yung Pharaoh na mabayat. Kasi yung time ni Moses, ibang Pharaoh na yun. So, pleased na pleased sila. Kumbaga, parang... Pilipino ka, ikaw yung naging rason 
paano nasalba yung US. Pag ito si President Trump. Ito yung sabi ni Pero doon kay Joseph. Sabi niya, no, uh, Joseph, tell your brothers, do this. Load your animals and return to the land of Canaan. Okay, pabalikin mo sila and bring your father and your families back to me. I will give you the best of the land of Egypt and you can enjoy the fat of the land. So it's like President Trump saying, o papuntayin mo dito. Yung mga, lahat sila may green card. Okay? Papuntayin mo lahat sa US and they will enjoy the fat of the land. Panalo. You are also directed to tell them, Pharaoh to eh, syempre. Do this, no? Take some carts from Egypt for your children and your wives and get your father and come. Never mind about your belongings. Huwag niyo nang kalimutan yung mga daladalahin niyo. Bakit? Because the best of all Egypt will be yours. Wow, blessings. So the sons of Israel did this. Joseph gave them carts as Pharaoh had commanded and he also gave them provisions for their journey. To each of them, he gave new clothing. But tingnan niyo na naman, yung disparity. But to Benjamin, he gave 300 shekels of silver and five sets of of clothes. Siyempre. And this is what he sent to his father. Ten donkeys loaded with the best things of Egypt and ten female donkeys loaded with grain and bread and other provisions for his journey. Then he sent his brothers away and as they were leaving, he said to them, don't quarrel on the way. You can mag pag So they went up out of Egypt and came to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan. They told him, Joseph is still alive. In fact, he is ruler of, ruler of all Egypt. Jacob was stunned. He did not believe them. But when they told him everything Joseph had said to them, and, we, and when he saw the carts Joseph had sent to carry him back, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. And Israel said, I am convinced my son Joseph is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. Wow, what a beautiful story. Actually, sa apat na parts na to, ito yung pinaka-part na gusto ko. No, kasi, wala, sarap basahin, sarap, sarap namnamin ng mga nangyari. No, Joseph, the Prince of Grace. As I end, let me share to, share to you guys some of uh, our takeaways for this evening. Joseph showed grace to his brothers just like Jesus showed grace to us. But it's grace God's reaches at Christ's expense. Grace is unmerited favor. Grace is something we all desperately need, desperately need kagaya ng mga kapatid Joseph, but we don't deserve it. We were uh, taught that there is salvation in Egypt. Wherever you are, there is salvation. No, kahit nasaan ka man. The Spirit of God is in Egypt kasi the Spirit of God is with Joseph. You see, if you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and, Lord and Savior, the Spirit of God will be with you. Sabi ng Biblia, for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. No, sabi dito, when Joseph brothers arrived, they bowed down to him with their faces to the ground. Nagkatotoo, ilang beses ba nang na nag-bow down sila? Okay? Nagkatotoo yung prophecy. Si Joseph, lahat ng mga kapatid niya, tatay niya, magbabaw down. Someday, magkakatotoo ang prophecy that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Dito, tinest ni Joseph yung faith ng mga kapatid niya. But his faith, faith is not believing that God, that God can. Uh, faith is knowing that He will. And talaga nagkatotoo. So, na dito napatunayan ni Joseph na nagbago na yung mga kapatid niya. At isa sa mga natutunan natin, grabe, umulan ng kindness. In spite sa mga tinana si Joseph sa mga kapatid niya, umulan ng kindness. Next week, we'll talk about Joseph. So, close out na natin. Joseph, the anointing. So, Joseph, anointing. Ano yung anointing na binigay sa kanya ng Panginoon? Bakit siya tinawag the forgiving blessed ruler. Kapatid, kung nanonood ka ngayon, ay kinig ka. At uh, nakapag-identify ka sa mga kapatid ni Joseph at kung gusto mong humingi ng tawad. Nandiyan lang ang Panginoon. Tagapin mo siya bilang Panginoon at pagligtas. Bow down to Him in humility. No? Talikura mo yung sins mo. 
and live a beautiful life with Jesus. Kung ikaw naman nakapag-identify kay Joseph, and there, were pe- there are people na nakasak- nakasakit sa'yo, I tell you the truth. No? Gayahin mo si Joseph. Show them grace. Show them mercy. Patawarin mo sila. Kasi walang tao na makakapagda sa langit na hindi marunong magpatawad. Kasi lahat tayo pinatawad lang din. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you Lord God for tonight. Thank you for Joseph's life. Thank you for Joseph's dreams. Thank you for Joseph's grace. And thank you for Jesus. Jesus' kindness. Lord, we ask you to be our Lord and Savior. We accept you as our personal Lord and Savior. Lord, we ask you, Lord God, to help us to forgive people who, who trespass against us, Lord God. Allow us to be like Joseph. Give us the anointing of Joseph. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love, kindness, and mercy. Just how Joseph exp- uh, uh, exemplified it, Lord God. We love you, Jesus' name. And amen. And amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And amen. God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being part of this service. Uh, please don't forget to be with us on Sunday with Pastor Manny as he uh, 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 preach on our Sunday service, 10 o'clock, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.